Hi everyone, this is Liz. I am so excited today because I'm about to do my very first video here on YouTube. And uh, I'm still a fairly new scrapper. I've been watching a ton of videos on YouTube, getting inspiration from such amazing, talented ladies out there. People like Miss Liberty 25, My Butterfly Kisses, Creative Kelly from Cali, Juliana, I mean, that's just to name a few. I mean, there's some amazing, talented ladies and I'm just so inspired by everyone. And uh, I've been wanting to post a video for some time, but I have to admit it is a little intimidating <laughs> because, uh, geez, you guys are just wonderful, wonderfully talented. But anyway, um, this is my very first video. Like I said, I'm still fairly new, but I am welcome to any suggestions and comments. And uh, without further rambling, here's my first project. Let's see, this is, um, well, basically this is the reason why I scrap. This is my family. And um, what I did is I took these little easels that I found, this is what they look like. I found them over at the Dollar Tree. And uh, I mean, they're kind of cute, I guess, on their own, but I instantly knew I was gonna alter them. So this is what I came up with. The first one here is of my son, and this is Christopher. And uh, the little easel was already black, but it was a little dull, so I just went ahead and painted it again. And uh, the papers, the paper collection I used was from the Lost and Found collection, the Union Square. And as you can see, I did a lot of distressing. And uh, I went ahead and added a little bit of tool back here in the background. I stamped a background stamp here and I used, I don't know what this is, um, I want to say cheesecloth, but I'm not sure. I just really like the way it looks, so I put it behind the picture. This is just a stamp that I stamped onto the pattern papers and I cut it out. And these are, you know, everyone's familiar with these guys. These are the gears by Tim Holtz. I used Rub and Buff to make them less shiny and I did the same thing here on the title and the title says wish and i titled it wish because this is my firstborn he is you know he's you know my son i love him to death and when i first had him it, i mean being a mother was really scary and i just wanted him to grow up and be the best that he could be i i gave him all my wishes my hopes my dreams everything i tried to instill in him and uh you know hence the title wish and anyways, um, if you can see here, I did a little bit of uh, paint splattering. I, oh, this here is the Tim Holtz mask, the clock face. And over here in the corner are some eyelets with a little bit of tool running through them. I really like the way it looks. Kind of, I don't know, reminds me of something industrial. But uh, anyway, that's the first one. And the next one is of my daughter, Kiani. And this is my little dreamer right here. That's why it's titled Dream. She is always thinking about her future, always talking about what she wants to do when she grows up, where she wants to go. And one of her biggest dreams is to spend an entire summer in Paris. I went ahead and stamped an image of an Eiffel Tower right here in the corner, if you can see that. And uh, the paper collection from this particular one is also from Lost and Found, but this is the Blush collection. I really wanted to give it a little Parisian feel and obviously make it girly. And I went ahead and used one of those little paper doilies in the background. This is another piece of patterned paper. I wanted to make it look like it was burnt a little, so I just tore the edges and distressed it with some distress inks. All the flowers are handmade. I used my Spellbinders, I believe it's called the Rose Creations. And I went ahead and did that. Um, they came out okay, I think. I'm not the best at making flowers, but I guess, you know, practice makes perfect. So anyways, I did that. And these little guys here, I just cut those out, inked the edges, and added a little flat back pearls. And then obviously I added some bling in the background, as you can see. I cut out these little leaves from a, I think it's a Martha Stewart punch. And I just went ahead and kind of wrinkled them up a little bit. And here in the corner is one of those Prima resins. And I painted it uh, cream and then inked just the tops with black so I could go, you know, with the rest of the papers. So 
This is the second. The third one is of my other daughter. This is my baby. Her name is Kayla and it's titled Love because she is the most lovable kid. She is always hugging and kissing me and telling me how much she loves me. I couldn't think of another title for this. But um, these little easels, by the way, they're about five and one eight by five and one eight. So they're really small, they're kind of cute. I just think of them as a little mini layout. And again, for this one, I used the uh, Prima Almanac. I had seen these papers online. I ordered them, but then I kind of second guessed myself, wasn't sure if I really liked them. But I saw a video where Juliana did some amazing work using these papers and they were just so beautiful that I said, oh my gosh, yes, I'm so glad I got them. And so here they are. I mean, they're, they really are gorgeous. I love them. Anyways, I distressed all the edges again here. Really love distressing things. I used another paper doily in the background. This is just a little bit of a trend that I picked up, I believe, at Hobby Lobby or Joann's, one of the two. These butterflies, I stamped onto the paper and then I fussy cut them. Added a little bit of a blingy thing here. Um, all these flowers are from I Am Roses. Except for this guy right here. I didn't have any pink ones, light pink ones, so I used my Spellbinder style to do this one. Yeah, I think it came out better. It was it was cool. It came out okay. <laughs> I guess I'm happy with that. And this is one of those chipboard pieces from the collection. This here I cut out from one of the papers. I like the way it looks down here. It's kind of cute. And of course, these are the little tickets from one of the papers, and I just distressed them a little bit inked the edges, went ahead and spelled love. I really like that, that came out really cute. And these pictures, um, I had them reduced to size. These are about two by two and three quarters. And uh, I really like the way that looks, it's just really cute. So there's that. And last but not least, this is titled He. He, the, he is my husband. <laughs> This is my man right here, and uh, he's my best friend, he's the love of my life, he's my everything, hence the title, he. I couldn't think of anything else that would describe it. He's a wonderful man, I love him to death, and I definitely had to include him on here. And of course, as you can see, I included absolutely no flowers whatsoever for his layout and for my sons. They would kill me if I added flowers. So I really wanted them to look masculine and I think I did a pretty good job. Again, I distressed all the edges on here and this paper collection is Bow Bunny Time Piece. Yes, that's what it's called. I really like these papers. Uh, I love the colors and I love just the way they look. So all the papers are from that collection. Ink them all. This is a rub-on rub -on from the collection. And these are chipboard pieces from that same collection. I stamped, uh, I guess, a script on this because it was pretty plain. And I inked all the edges. Same thing here. I went ahead and added little photo corners for the picture just to make it stand out more. And um, I guess that's about it. This one's pretty simple. I just wanted to leave it. It's just showcasing my husband. This is a picture of him and his, and his uh, horse. It's my, my cowboy, but uh, I guess that's that. But I hope you guys like it. Again, this is my very first video, so don't be too hard on me. Anyways, um, I really hope you guys enjoy it. I welcome all feedback, feedback, sorry. And like I said, I'm really excited to be posting this. I really look forward to making more videos, making some friends, hopefully participating in some swaps. That'd be really cool. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye.